Okay, so this is going to be a uh, tutorial for uh, Star Phantom Menace on PC. Um, making it because we currently need a resource for people who want to uh, start running this game. Um, the first thing you want to do is, I'm just going to load a quick save here. You want to check your FPS. Uh, let's just load a random one. Uh, you want you want to check your FPS. You do that um, by type hitting the uh, backspace on the keyboard. That'll bring up the uh, input like the well, basically like where you put commands in the console, and you just type in FPS and it will. I already had it up, so but there you go. Now you have it there. So 29.99 is really good. Um, before a run, it's recommended, if it's, if it's your first run of the day, it's recommended to restart your computer beforehand. A lot of times, if you've been playing other stuff on your computer, and then you uh, start this game up, it will be at 25 and below, and you can you can really feel it on like some of the jumps and stuff. Um, it's, it becomes very clunky, so it's recommended that you turn it, um, you restart it, so you can get as close to 30 as possible. I mean, 29.99, can't really complain. Okay. Another thing you're going to have to do between every run, because uh, this is also annoying, uh, the sound, it, it, it gets changed. It, it moves around by itself after each run. So after each run, you're going to want to check that, which is why it was so, so super loud when I just started there. So the timer, you start it, uh, so there's this cutscene here, but you hit escape to cap, like skip the cutscene. So the second you hit skip is when you would uh, split the timer. So now it will be splitting the timer. Uh, this first level is has no tricks. Uh, you just got to go for it as quick as possible. Um, so yeah, um, there is a map detail. Um, if you go onto options and then performance, this full map, it's recommended that you turn that off as well because that table that's behind Qui Gon it normally has a lot of chairs around it, and if you turn that off, the chairs aren't there, so they don't block your path. Otherwise, you have to take a bit of a wider angle to go around. Okay. So here we basically uh, we just jump over Qui Gon and run out of this room, run forward, uh, force push. Uh, it's good luck to get all three, um, and then you push this droid here. Uh, if he doesn't die, it doesn't matter. You just want him out of the way. But push, pu force pushing a droid into a wall will uh, will kill them. So then you just push this button, and you've got to wait for this to go down. Don't force push too early because that droid will be immune to it. And uh, then you're wasting your force push and you have to run in close. So like I said, we're just running through the normal level. Um, no special tricks here. Uh, you don't want, you want to try and like, let that take you down the normal way and not run too far forward because you have to turn less when you land at the bottom. So here we've got, we've run quickly here. And we cut in front of this one here. Then we zigzag through here. And push this button. Then this droid up here, we're going to force push once while running this way to get like slide past him. And then the same way, we're going to force push past him again. So this next part, uh, we're not going to kill anything. We're just going to run it. So, but we're going to be using a lot of force pushes to like save ourselves. So here we push this button and we get into this room as quickly as possible so we don't take too many shots. And we swing our lights over at that. Now this jump... You've got to jump uh, like that. If you miss it, it's not the end of the world. Uh, it just means you've got to uh, dodge the... It just means you've got to uh, dodge the bullets a bit while the lift goes up. It's obviously a bit of a time loss, but... It doesn't, it, like Everyone has runs where they miss it. Now, this next bit, we're going to push the button to get the lift to go up, but we can instantly jump up. We're, we're just out of reach of it, so we can like push the button and jump. We don't have to wait for it to go all the way up. So we push, push the button, and we instantly just jump. Don't really need to force push that one, but it's all I always do anyway. Because sometimes it's very rare, but he might block you, or he might shoot. If you're low health, it's very good to force push him because he might kill you. You're normally very low health if the uh, if you've been stuck on the uh, lift. So yeah, so here again, as intended. Um, the reason this run has a lot more as intended stuff is because a lot of the things that uh, are used on the PlayStation run can't be used on the PC because um, as far as I'm aware I might be completely wrong about this but I think a lot of the uh, PlayStation tricks involve uh, 
overloading memory by like spamming inputs and stuff and then you that doesn't work on the PC one and also there's some other trips like out of bounds which just aren't doable on the PC um, so here we push that we just run through just a normal level now we've got I'm gonna show you uh, yeah so on the next level I'm gonna show you like the easy and uh, the, the harder methods because um, so you'd know both uh, so the when we split is when it fades to black on every single level. On every single level is w when we split is uh, when it fades to black. So there you would split there. Then there's the cutscene, so you quickly skip that as quick as possible. Now, when you first go into water in this game, when you first go into the water, uh, you get a boost. So what you want to do is you want to boost over to here with your speed boost, then you want to go on here because you're running again. Then you boost to the next one and then you run again. Because swimming is super slow here. Here you want to push them. The yellow ones you only want... <clears throat> Sorry. The yellow one's the only one you really need to get. Uh, because he will shoot you along the whole way. But the rest of them you don't really need. So here we run up here and we have to do this cutscene. We're working on a skip, but it's uh, very, very inconsistent right now. And uh, it... Because of its inconsistency, it doesn't save the time that you would, like, that we need it to. So we're, it's not in the run right now. So we just slide down here. Now coming up, um, we'll just go up here. The next bit, there's a little spot. We'll see if I get it this time. If you force push at that point, a tree is going to fall down. And if you force push in the right point, the tree will boost you forward. If you do it at the wrong point, it will drop in front of you and you will have to jump over it, being a little bit slower. So here's where we run forward and it's about here. So that was, that was wrong, so there we go. You know what? I will, uh, I will redo that and I will show you the correct way. So th that's, that's, what, that's what happens if you fail it. Um, but it's such a small time save. Um, if you don't get it, there we go. So that, that that's the two of them. It's such a small time save. If you don't get it, just keep going. Don't reload for it. Um, it's not worth reloading for. It's just nice if you do get it. So here we just jump down here. Now these little things you can't force push out of the way. So we try and manipulate them as best we can. They, they do the same each time. So you just stick to this wall and you should only have to jump that one. Um, now here, we walk up here and we try and jump around this corner as far around as possible. Uh, we haven't ever managed, uh, no one's ever managed to uh, actually fully make it around the corner, So, but we think it is possible. Um, but if not, you want to get around as far as possible. Now here, to get through this tree coming up, you need to look about here and then you need to jump turning to the right. And that's how you get through uh, that tree. Now here you want to uh, you want to kind of get like the uh, your jumping rhythm in this game right because uh, if you like spam jump quickly, it's exactly the same when you stood still, but the distance you get is further if you uh, stagger it. So you want to go tap tap. That's how you want your jumps to go tap tap. Because like you see here that I made it in one go. If I uh, double one. I grab the ledge and jump up. So the tap tap is slightly further distance. So um, you, you you do want to be doing the tap tap. Right, so I'm gonna quick save here because this is where the tricks differ. So you can just jump across normally and talk to Jar Jar. Here you want to go down to the bottom one, bottom option. And then uh, bottom option again. And then that's one way of doing this, right? But it's a bit slow, and that uh, uh, that droid on the stap will shoot at you. So, there is another way of doing it. So if you line yourself up kind of like, let's see, yeah. So if you line yourself up kind of like this, and you run, and do the tap tap, you need to do the tap tap there though. Because if you don't do the tap tap, if you, if, like, if, if you get your double jump timing wrong, you are not going to make it. So, it's roughly like that, yeah. I mean, you can adjust in the air if you, you need to. Like, but th this is a, uh, um, I normally try for this uh, once, 
There we go. You see, and now we haven't got uh, Jar Jar speaking. And we don't have to stop shooting at us. So it saves a bit of time because we don't have to listen to the uh, dialogue. And at the same time, here, Jar Jar would be running in front of us and he can sometimes block you. So it, it is a double time save. It's worth getting it, but if you fail it once, uh, reload and just do it the normal way. Um, it's only in the last week or so that we've started uh, putting that in the runs. So it's a fairly new one because it worked on PlayStation, uh, but we weren't sure if it worked on PC, but we tested it and it does work. So uh, we are starting to integrate it, but m we don't have that much practice here. So here you want to just jump onto this rope. There's no way to skip it. So uh, pull the box so you're in, uh, so it's close enough for that. Um, you don't need to pull it right to the wall. And now here is just, we do not, the only thing you have to do here is we do not want to hit those boxes at the back. Because they've both got droid cars in and they will slow us down. So we want to get on the turret here. And we want to kill them all apart from that one at the very back because he's always glitched in the way. So there we go, we hit him, we hit the box, and we got one out. Um, that's bad luck on our part. Sometimes the boxes can take a ton of hits, sometimes they die in one hit. So you, you just want to avoid it. Here you want to tank his hits to make sure Jar Jar doesn't get hit again, because you want him to stay down. Because uh, you, you, want, you want Jar Jar to get up, you don't want him to fall over again. Um, so here, we just wait. Now we just wait. This is one of the bits where we just have to wait on Jar Jar to arrive. And yeah, that's, that's the end of this level. Um, it's all fairly simple stuff really up at this point. I mean, the whole thing is fairly simple. Um, there's a few there's a few bits which you need, like you, there's, you need skill in lots of bits, but like the process of doing them is simple. There's not some, there's not a lot of, there's no um, elaborate setups or crazy like glitches that you're like walking on like a, paper thin invisible wall like there's none of that so now in Otagunga the first bit you want speed um you want Jar Jar actually you want to block him so he says excuse me or excuse me I don't know if he says excuse me I just imagine I, I, in my head he does yeah he does so you want to do that so he's further back because we're going to kill this guard here and killing this guard they're going to throw thermal detonators and and you push these, and then you just ride down. Because uh, if, if you don't block Jar Jar there, uh, Jar Jar and Qui-Gon will die from the thermal detonators. So he wants to take the path a bit wider, because that very bottom guard, he likes to block the path. So here we go left. Uh, you can either force push or kill that guard. Um, force push is quicker. I don't know why I just swang there. Um, force push is quicker. Um, and then we just stand on here and wait for it to go up. Uh, you don't have to wait for this to go all the way up. Roughly about here you can already jump. And then you can kill those two. In the coolest moment in the game. Because you're like hanging on a ledge. You swing up and you kill them both in one swing. It, oh, it's so cool. Right, anyway. So here. On this jumping puzzle, these platforms, they will go down slowly into the water when you land in them. Um, we are going to skip some of it. So we just go straight the whole way we just go straight through so if here i'm a bit too far forward so don't worry about going back a bit it's better to go back a bit than overshoot so then once you're over it's all good now push this guard over so he's not in the way oh i was a bit too slow there it's fine um oh. So this guy here, he can talk to you if you bump into him by accident. So I like to uh, push him. That time he was walking away anyway. I just always like to push before I leave that area. Because that makes sure... Because if he's knocked down, he's not going to talk to you. Um, you don't need to actively seek him out. You just need to push when you're going out. Like when he crosses your path. And if, if it doesn't go down, that means he was out of your path anyway. So here we run along here. Now this guy, um, this guy can glitch your camera. I don't like him doing that, so I push him before I kill him. Uh, definitely not necessary, um, but I just do it because uh, I, the camera glitch I, it makes this so much harder. So here we push this block over here and hit this button. Then we backflip off, 
and dragging's a bit finicky in this game. You might slip like I did there a bit. But you're going to drag it back to this one. Don't take it all the way in because you need to uh, have space to jump up. Okay, so then you push it here. And then you jump off again, backflip. And then you take this box. And you pull it to about there. And again, you uh, push it and backflip. Now, this one normally always messes up, exactly. So we're going to have to push it a bit. But there's a thing in this game called Infinite Saber Glitch. Uh, the Infinite Saber Glitch is done by swinging your lightsaber while dropping off an edge. Uh, it basically permanently activates the hitbox of the lightsaber. Uh, on this level, it's not required, but it makes things easier. So, if you have not messed up your blocks at all, and you've, you can just do it from backflipping and just pulling in one direction, do not get it. Only get it, like in this situation where I am now, because it make it because like I have to, I I have to, I have to drop off and push it this way. So in that situation, it's acceptable. Like here we swing it, and you can see like I've got this trail behind my lightsaber. That means I've got the ISG now. But if I was able to just push, if I was able to just pull it into the right place without adjusting, I would have just pulled it into the right place and then uh, flipped out, and then uh, yeah. But the, the ISG means here we can just run. Like those people just died. Like I just ran through them. Like they're nothing. Now this guy's going to die while I'm pulling the box. Because of my ISG. This is what I mean. It makes things a bit easier. Like you would normally have to kill them. But but it doesn't save enough time. It doesn't save enough time that you should get it. If you have to go out of your way to get it. Only get it on this level if it's easy. Like you need to. Okay so here. We uh, hit this button, we've got a bit of a timer here, so we jump up, and we jump across there. And there we go. Now this guy, we're just going to force push and kill him. Because we used to run up and sort lightsaber him, but we don't need to. We can just force push him against that. Uh, force pushing him against, force pushing enemies against a solid object kills them. Uh, not just knocking them over, so that saves a little bit of time there. Right, so now we're going down here, and here, from this point on, we are just running. You see? Dead. Like, th th this is what I mean, it just makes it more convenient. Like, you don't have to swing your lightsaber, so you save more time there. But, but yeah. I like to always get it, but it... That's because I normally mess up the block puzzle somehow. So here we want to put the lightsaber away, because the, li the ISG... Other than uh, Amidala on the next level, it will also affect allies. So you do not, it will kill them. So you, you've got to be careful. So here we've got to wait for Jar Jar's this way to the bongo. That means the lift door's open and we can run and leave him behind. And now we're just going to run this way to the end of the level. That's all we're going to do now. I put my lightsaber away here just in case. I don't think Qui-Gon can die, but he might be able to. I don't know from the ISG. I, I just prefer I just prefer to uh, leave it. Okay. Now this level, you can be lucky or you can be unlucky. Uh, the tank can miss this plant pot on the right here on the pillar. It can miss it. Uh, you need it to be smashed. Uh, so the worst I've had is it missed it four times. Um, well, no, it missed it three times, and on the fourth shot, it got it. Uh, most of the time, it's first shot. So you want to quick save here. You want to quick save straight away here, and run over to here. Okay, so the plant pot did get smashed. The reason you quick save is because if you run it somewhere in the wrong way, that pillar will fall, and that's what we need to stay up. So that's why I quick save right at the beginning of the level, just in case you get it wrong, so you don't have to watch the cutscene again. So here we're going to jump up here. And we're going to line it up around like here. Like that. So here, this is, this is where the, uh, your tapping, tap timing, you need long of, you need the long jumps. So there we go. Click, click. And then we quick save here. Now we jump into this pillar. We dodge the tank shot. We're going to dodge it again because we've taken too long. And then we jump onto here. Um... I made that look very easy, it's not. So here we double jump up and hit it there. And then we'll hit that. 
And that's the level. Okay, so on that jump, you need to do the longest jump possible. So it's click, click, like on your uh, jump button. Whatever your jump button is, it's jump, jump. It's not jump, jump. You need to have it like, you, you'll you need to try it out yourself, obviously. Um, try out the timing, but um, you need to be careful. You've always got to go right after the tank shot. If the tank has shot and you've dodged it and then you've had to adjust your setup, you have to dodge another shot because if a tank shot hits you, you're going to drop into the water. So here we just run through here. And that that's that level. We basically skip the entire level there. So this level can be a pain if you are not used to uh, manipulating Amidala. Um, I'm going to show you the ways that I do it. Um, everyone's got their own kind of kind of way of doing it but I can only show you my way um, but yeah so if she gets hit she goes down that's an important thing to uh, like she, she she's fine but she'll she'll not be following you and you have to go back to her, go back to her to check up on her you can't just run off if she's gone down she won't move she'll stay there <clears throat> so What's coming up here is a very simple bit um, of like just practicing to keep her where we want her. Uh, so here, we're going to cut in front of her, trying not to step in front of her, step on her dress. There we go. Now this droid's going to shoot at us. We want to like, we want to body block them all, or we want to uh, reflect them because we do not want them hitting her. One's gone back. That might have hit. No, it didn't. Okay. So she went through perfectly, so that's how you want it to go. You don't want her stopping there. So here, she needs to be triggered to come forward again. So you jump backwards, and that's enough to get her again. Don't stick too close to that right wall. Uh, don't stick... Uh, uh, I'm stuck on a plant. Don't, don't, don't run through like this. Because she'll get stuck on the wall, and sometimes she'll glitch in, and you can't get her out. So try and, try and like take it a bit wider. So on here, we want an ISG. So we're going to swing, and now we've got it. A droid's going to come around the corner. We're going to force push it. Off. Now, we're going to put our lightsaber away. Very, very important that we have our lightsaber away here. So we jump across. I'm going to actually... Actually, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you why it's very, very important. Okay. So you see this rocket launcher here. If I have my ISG out, and I walk into it, I can no longer pick, it's glitched now, I can't pick it up anymore. It's, it's the only pickup in the game that you have to worry about that for. But um, that's why you that's why you put your lightsaber away. Um, when you reload, however, you lose ISG, so I currently do not have it. So I need to get it. So let's uh, jump on this ledge here and swing. Oh no, so this isn't a good place to get it, but... This isn't a good place to get it, but... You know what, we're going to get it off this ledge. Oh, come on. Won't let me back jump on it. Okay. So, there we go. See, I've got it again now. So, you can get it on any ledge, really. Some of them are just difficult to get it on. Um, the reason we get that plant pop, we get it on that plant bit outside is because it's really, really easy to get. So, here we push the button. We grab the health and the gun. And then we just leave her for now because she'll go to the right spot. So here we'll go walk into this droid. You want to force push these down. Blow these ones up. Then you want to get the two that are on the ground. Sometimes it won't work on the ground. And then we want to get these two. Oh, come on. Sometimes they juke you. It's fine. Uh, and like I said on the last level, Padme is the only person, the only like friendly person you can walk up to and with an ISG out and you don't have to worry about killing her. So I like to take these corners nice and wide and then you're guaranteed to have her follow you. Look, she's already there. Um, so now we want to kill all of these droids here. Okay, so she's been shot. She's been hit, I think, by the tank. Yeah. Okay, so the tank blast hit her, but it's fine. She's already here. So here you want to say dialogue option one to her. Uh, you want to say this one. 
Uh, as soon as I open the gate, run to safety. It means we don't have to come back for her uh, once we've done our stuff. So now we've broken that. So now, I always quick save here because we need four rocket launcher bullets left on the final level. And we only have five. So this needs to work first time. So if the tank doesn't work, you need to reload. Well, you don't, but like you, you, your Darth Maul fight is going to be harder. So here we just aim at it in the, anywhere really and fire it. You can run through it for some reason. And then we push this button here and then we go straight for the uh, gate because she's already coming, right? And now here we kill these three. Now we pull out our gun and we have to kill these ones. Uh, aiming up and down in this game, is a, it does it automatically because it's an old game. So you just have to jump and shoot. You just gotta, you gotta hope that it just kills them quickly. So here we have to move fairly quickly because some droidicas will spawn behind us if we don't. So here you say let's go. Uh, you want to make sure she goes all the way in the house. Uh, sometimes those people under the bridge can hit her through the walls if you leave her there in the corner and you won't be able to get her back unless you kill them and we don't need to kill them. So here we get the health and we get the two uh, pickups. Now here we want to uh, avoid this one and we want to go into this one. It should drop us to 76 health. There we go. Now this one is already in big form, so it's going to do more damage. It's going to—we might be at like 18 health. 12. Okay, it's fine. If you're quick enough, if you're quick enough, um, you can get it a bit before it was rolling, and it's—you uh, you won't be so low. But I mean, it's not too bad because we're about to get health pickup now. As long as you survive it, it's fine. So here you run ahead. And you get your gun out just in case that one of the droids starts shooting Padme. You, you pick up the health. And he's not. Okay. So here, this jump is really finicky. Um, you want to, like, aim for roughly there. And then you want to double jump your way across. And that's that's how it goes. Um, be prepared to fail it multiple times. Um, that's, that's the lineup there that you want. But... Obviously, um, n none of us get it consistently. None of us get it 100% of the time, so don't worry about it if you mess it up. It's, it's, a, it's probably the hardest jump in the game. Um, and sometimes the, those birds that fly across, sometimes they block you as well. So here, we want to save our health for this next bit. So we're going to run forward and we're going to break these two mines. Then we're going to run like forward like this, go forward, and bam. And block both of them. Padme's fine, perfect. So now, I'm, while we're here, I'm going to explain the next segment because it's pretty uh, frantic and a lot happens in one go. So we're going to lower this bridge by double jumping on the spot. And then just as we start to drop, so not at the peak of the jump, just as we start to drop, we're going to force push and the bridge will go down. Then we're going to get Padme to follow us. Well, lead on. And then at a certain point, some droids will spawn behind us. Um, I'll show you, I'll explain, I'll, I'll tell you when the, uh, where the spawn is. Well I'll, well, I'll show you when we get to that. And we'll turn around, kill those ones. Then we get out our gun and shoot a particular droid. The reason we shoot this droid is because with the ISG, for some reason, he doesn't die as quickly as the other droids. Um, and you'll be taking turret shots while you kill that one. Um, so it's, it's uh, very, very... Uh, health is very, very important on this bit because it means you can do the next bit fast. Uh, like, you can still do it with no, low health the next bit, but you, you, it will be very, very, very slow if you don't have... If you don't, if you don't have a safe... If you don't have a safe amount of health. So, yeah. So here, like I said, up and then just when we're going down... The bridge will go down. So she's following. So here, when she gets to this corner, she'll run off by herself. There we go. So the spawn trigger is here, these tiles. And we're going to turn around and we're going to deal with these four now. Okay. Then we're going to get a gun out here. And this is the droid that we take care of. And now we're going to try and get to that droid without getting hit. 
Okay, so 84 is very nice. The reason we have to do this quick is because if we don't do it quick... If we don't do it quick, um, the... Some droidic has spawned behind us, and they're really difficult. So now that's all the droids dead. So th that's the reason why we want high health, because if we had low health from that turret, we wouldn't have been able to just charge them all. We would have had to carefully do it. We might have had to use our pistol to like snipe some of them. Um, so here we just say, let's go to her. Um, sh she has good pathing at this point, um, and she'll be in the place we want her to be. So here we open this door. There's three enemies, two in the front, one over here. So I like to go this way. I like to do a loop like this. Because we have to go, we have to uh, come back to here anyway. You can do a loop the other way. Either, just any loop will do. And then here we say, let's try to reach your ship. And that is this level. Uh, it's not difficult. Uh, we've, uh, it's become very consistent since we started shooting that droid. Uh, s since I found that. Um... It's become very, very simple. Well, not simple, uh, but there's that really difficult jump in there. Uh, that 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 jump is a run killer for a, a lot of the time. Um, yeah, it's it's pretty hard that jump. Watch it practice a bit. You get, you get a feel for like like it, you'll know if you haven't had the right setup when you're in the air. Like you'll feel it uh, after a certain point. Okay, so now this level relies on speed and pathing. So there's a death wall. Because we're going to ditch Padme. We're not going to, like, f escort her through. We're not doing that. But if you get too far away from her, she'll die. So we have to take a certain route which bypasses the death wall. Um, so this is the route that I like to take. I like to stick in the middle of the path, and then I like to uh, uh, go up the rocky bit on the side. But um, I'll show you it. So, so here, oh, I think I cut that a bit too much, and then up the rocky bit here. I think I cut that too much, you might die. No, okay. So when you hit that speeder, you know you've passed a death wall. So that's how you do that bit. Uh, that's the route I take. Um, I know Pandra has a bit of a different one, uh, but we both are still experimenting. So um, there's a thing called audio, uh, well, dialogue cancelling in this game. So people can't, certain people, like if someone's saying a dialogue line, they can't uh, be spoken to until they finish their line. Now this first guy, he has a line, um, you better stand back mister because I'm slashing all my prices. And it's fairly slow for him to say that. However, if you can get, like, if you manage to angle your camera in a way that that long-headed dude in the orange robe um, is, like, he, that, that guy only starts moving once you, he, you're in his cam, you've got him in your camera. So if you can angle your camera so you can see him. That guy will start walking, and then the vendor will start talking to that guy, saying he, he looks like a guy that will, could use a nice rank or skin jacket. The reason we want that line is because that line finishes when we get to him. So it means we don't have to listen to his dialogue. It's only a small bit of time save, but it's, it's a good one. So here, um, so that more dangerous than I thought happened. So uh, I'll reload it because... Um, I want to show that. I, I, I want to sh show how it is. Um, someone else said you're more dangerous than I thought, mister. I don't know who said that. But if that happens, it's been cancelled. Okay, so here. We go around like this. There we go. Oh, no. He's done it again. There we go. Rank or skin jacket. And then we can just talk to him straight away. Instead of having to wait for him to do his voice line. Um, if you don't get it in a run, keep going, keep going. It, like it's, it's like not even a second time save. But it's in multiple conversations, so you should still try to get it for each one because it does add up. But if you miss one, don't bother. Don't bother like reloading or something. Like I only reloaded there because I wanted to show. Um... Yeah, I just wanted to show the thing. So here we say we the first option, 
and then uh, tell me how I can find Bato because we need we need him to say this line here for him to mention Anakin for us to be able to go and talk to Shmi and then meet Anakin. Then we just go down to thank you. Now here we're going to go and pre-open a door uh, so the route is faster for later. Because it can only be open from this side and we want to come back through it. So we're going to go in, go into the bathhouse and we're going to open this door here. And we're going to go around. So now these kids always disperse in the same pattern. So if you run in like an... Nah. So uh, let's... let's uh... If you... Uh, I normally stop. I don't normally just sprint. I don't know why I did just sprint. So if you go out here and there we go Th those kids always span like, like, like they always spread in the same pattern so you shouldn't ever have to speak to them if you know their pattern unless you your mind goes black and you blank and you do something that you uh never were going to so here we say the top option for all of them there's a lot of dialogue on uh Mosespa. And without voices, it's bad. You you should have some background music playing. Um, I don't have any because I'm explaining. Um, but normally I would have background music playing. So here we just jump over this. We jump and turn to talk to him because uh, those block boxes often block you. So here you can just do the top options. Uh, most of the options all lead to the same thing. Um, so I just use the top ones because you don't have to waste time skipping through the things. Okay, so here we're going to have to outrun a... Uh, I don't know what it is. Uh, that machine. So we, jump, we just do the normal jumping puzzle. If you're like if you're like me, you'll choke this on world record runs. So, so we wait for him to come along, and he'll say, "Follow me." There we go. That's the trigger. We have to run because otherwise that guy comes through and he will hurt. Now here we don't actually have to put push the block. If you do a a proper double jump, you can get across. So Wato can soft lock here. Um, I like to stand here. Because it, he pushes me to where the fusion coils are. So I don't have to move to pick them up. So here you say you're looking for a T14. And then he's like doing that. And then you offer him the uh, fusion coil. There you go. That we, got, that we picked up in Naboo. So you offer him that. And then instead of one, you have to ask him for two. Perhaps two or few converters. The very bottom option there. Doing that means we get to skip the Jawas, which were back in the junkyard. So it saves it saves time. Okay. So here we want to run out and try and get... So I got lucky there. Okay. So you know that noise? Do you, you, well, you saw that... Uh, what are they? Subtitle. Which said... Which was like just a noise. Like... Arr, I don't know what it said. A-R-G-G-F-S. I don't know. But that basically dialogue cancelled Anakin's really long line. Uh, this is the one dialogue cancel where we haven't found a consistent way of getting it. Well, like, we can get that guy to say the Rankle Skin Jacket. We can skip Analog's dialogue coming from the other way. There will be always be a Jawa in the way which you can bump to make say a line. But this one here, it's just luck. Uh, if you're lucky and that line plays, uh, you can talk to him straight away. If not, you'll have to listen to a massive long thing about, uh his new uh, pod racer. So here you say the top one, and then the top one again, and then the very bottom one. I'll, s I'll see what I can do. There we go. So for the boss on the next level, we need flash grenades. So we're gonna pick up the flash grenades here so we have them. That bed's a bit finicky to get up because you can't double jump, but there we go. So then we run up these stairs here. I go around here. You can try and jump around the corner. It does save time if you get it. If you don't get it, it's not a massive time loss. So then we go across this rope. This is the only other rope other than the one in Swamps and the Boo that we have to cross. We've skipped all the rest of them. 
So here we go. We pick that and go quickly so the turret doesn't hit you. So here we get out our gun because we're going to have to shoot someone. So what we're going to do here now is we're going to get on the rope. And as soon as the camera angle changes, we're going to come back this way. Because a guy is going to come out and start shooting at us and he will hit us. Um, and if you get shot while you're on a rope, you fall. So as soon as the camera angle changes, you head back and you should make it. So always quick save here. This is a point where you should always quick save just in case you fall. So. Camera's changed. Back. Back, 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 back. There you go. You see, I'm now on the very edge, but I, I survived. I did. Well, you survive anyway, but I'm still up here. Okay. So then here, I like to give myself ISG. The reason I do that is because of this boss battle coming up. Um, you can also get it, you can get it on the bed in this ha building here, but it's a lot more difficult to get it. Uh, so I like to get it on that ledge where it's easier to get. If I fail the boss fight and have to reload, I will get it here because it, you ha quick, like not quick saving before you do this is a bad idea because, uh, Doing that rope again is a massive time loss. So here we kill this person, and this person, and then we jump down here, and then we go down here. So now this guy is running like this. You need to set it up exactly how I did it. If you land on the box straight away, it can mess up. Um, and yeah, we just run against here, and watch his health go down. Um, I have managed to like glitch this boss a few times that he's also got the equivalent of an ISG. Uh, I honestly don't know how I did it though, so I can't give you any tips on how to avoid doing it. It's just happened. Uh, put your lightsaber away here because we do not want to... If you kill any innocent people in this game, you soft lock this level. And it can be a run killer depending if you haven't got a quick save before you've done it. So here we talk to this guy. But we say the very bottom one. Let's go hurry. Then we jump up onto this box. Go down here, break that, and pop through here. Now this is why we open the door, we can go straight through there. Right, so here we talk to Jar Jar and tell him to wait at Wato's shop. Then we're gonna go out here. If these guys say, hey mister, how, you, how many people you killed? No, okay, so we're fine. Uh, sometimes it glitches and it does soft lock you anyway. So you go up here, you force push this woman out of the way, and you kill the two Rodians. Being careful not to kill the man. The man we do not want to kill. He, We need him. He has a vital piece of equipment. Uh, don't get in his way because otherwise he won't stop. So here we want to uh, talk to him. If he wants to talk to me. There we go. So here we want to say... We want him to give us something else. But we have to, we have to do two dialogue options first. So here we ask him for the mass coupler. Then the server control system. And then here we finally get to say, do you have anything I could use? And then he's going to give us the engine binders, and that's what we need. So here I like to run in a certain angle to this woman. Because the engine binders spawn here. Like, below me. They spawn here. So... I normally just come in and I run like as hard as I can like this to try and get it and then we say thank you and there we go I did pick it up uh, you don't have to worry about this woman being in the way because she sinks into the ground so here again we're gonna try and get the rank or skin jacket so we want that guy moving there we go oh so we want to try be around on this side for him when he says that because here we can, this is the side where the mass coupler spawn. Um, and turning is like a bit awkward in this game. So it's nice to be facing, like running the right way straight away. And so here we just trade him and we run off. Now, here we jump the corner to get past that guy. And we go talk to Tinto. And here we say we are trying to help Anakin, the third option. And then the top one.
and then we've reached an agreement and we get it. So we'll reverse into that and run and pick it up. So here's where we bump the Jawa to cancel Anakin's dialogue. Uh, it works because the Jawa's in the perfect place. Look at him. He's so close to him. So here we go, bump and talk. And uh, that's this level. Simple as that. Now this level's the uh, toilet break level. Um, the pod race is a super long cutscene, uh, so you can go grab yourself a drink or uh, go to the toilet quick in the middle of a run on this level at the end of it. Um, it's also the midpoint. So so here we want to say, uh, let's find this Jabba now. And there's multiple things you can say, but I say, I'm, but we say the top one because uh, you don't have to navigate the menu and here this is the only uh force persuade like jedi mind trick that will work uh which is this one you will take me to jabba now all other ones in the run for with the npcs we talk to will not work now we have to wait for the woman here because wait I i'll go far really far back so you can see uh she will not move from that point uh she'll permanently stay there unless you're close enough for her to say that, ah, I love the view from up here, at that point you can back off and she'll start moving again. So, now we are gonna got another boss fight coming up. Uh, ISG does not help us here because we need to swing to knock him back. Uh, the ISG doesn't knock him back. So, there's a million different ways you can glitch this dialogue. All of them are slower because you are either have stuck inputs and you can't change the dialogue at the beginning and you have to spam buttons. Or, yeah, or, or it's just bad. Um, so you just walk forward slowly, carefully. I mean, you don't have to set it up like I did, but if, if the camera goes straight up, it's fine. You've done it right. So uh, here we go down to the middle one. Release me immediately. And here, I will not serve Jabba. You know if you've glitched it, because you can start running around at this point already during the cutscene. No other dialogue. Okay, so here we pick up the Pegots. Quick save about here. Walk up to about here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to swing. And as soon as the enemy comes out, we're going to hold forward. Um, that damage I took there wasn't from it, I took it from the spikes. And it's dead. Okay, so you want it to die before it actually triggers its boss. So here you want to kill this dude. Because he messes, the, he, he messes up. If he stabs you while the bartender's coming past, you can't talk to the bartender. And you you want to get a double on the bartender. Uh, so here you say, do you know where I can find Wato? And here you do that one. Okay. So now we run around here, we spam E. So this is a double. So you see it was coming from the uh, right hand side and it's going to go to the back and then it comes back. That's a double because you can, you this point I'm stood, you can grab him twice, right? Uh, if it, if he's coming down and going that way or you miss him, uh, you ha it, it wastes a lot of time. So you really do want a double. Uh, the only thing that can mess it up for you is if Teamto talks or the timing's been off. But if that guy's stabbing you, if that guy's stabbing you, it, it will also not uh, it will also not do it. That's why I kill him. So here we get both jury juices. Uh, so we got the double. That would that would be really good. This would be pretty fast. This would be pretty fast. This run, if uh, it was an actual run. So here we run forward, pick up the health, as as well as talking to that guy. You don't actually have to talk to him. Like he will just talk to you automatically if you bump him. So you just run forward to pick up the health. Here you give him his one. There we go. Now, you go up here. We just wait for him to go through. Uh, we just need him to open doors. We don't, so we're gonna have to stay behind him a little bit. Here we can cut past him, so we will. So here we make the bet with Wato. So we take the first option, and then I think it's all twos. Let me have a look at the dialogue, but I think it's all the second option after this. Yeah, second option. Second option. 
Ah, uh, there's the top one. Okay. So it's one, two, two, one, and then another one, I think. Yeah. First option, second option, second option, first option, first option. So here we jump onto here and step forward slowly and you will not die. Uh, you, you need to land there. Uh, if you jump off, even if you land there, you will die. You need to walk off. And then, so basically we just jump over the wall here. I like to get my grenades out ready because I'm pretty slow at getting out my weapons. So I like to get them out on uh, preemptively because I know I've got no fighting to do up to that. So now we're going to chase this little blue guy. We're going to run down here, slide down here. Make sure he moves here and then go up ourselves. you got to make sure he moves there because uh, if he doesn't, you're going to have to turn around and go back and get him. So I like to jump onto this thing and then up here. Saves a little bit of time. Now, this next boss... We want to get right to the edge of this square, which I'm going to show you, and then just throw the five grenades at him. And if he doesn't die, sometimes he does, sometimes he doesn't. If he doesn't, uh, shoot him with the blaster. At which point I'm going to run around the room a uh, kind of a wide angle because a turret will be behind me shooting me. And I don't want to die because you, it, yeah, it does quite a lot of damage. So here we go. We just go to here. So he didn't die, so we're just going to shoot him. And now we're just going to do a big loop until that item there spawns. I picked it up. It's all good. And that's the end of the level. Now we're going to drop down here. And this would be toilet break. This is where you can take your break. Because this... Uh... This, uh... this is a really long cutscene. And a really boring one. It's the most interesting depiction of a pod race ever. The audience reactions. Okay, so now this level is very, very short. Um, normally, uh, there's two phases. So you try to run through and then more will cause a rock slide blocking the path. You have to fight more for a bit. Then the rock slide breaks and then you go through and fight more again. So we're not going to trigger the rock slide. Uh, so we don't have to do that. And then we're just going to force push him as much as possible uh, away from the uh, hyperdrive. Um, I say as much as possible. Sometimes he doesn't flip a lot and you can f uh, force push lock him. Sometimes he flips a bunch and it's really hard to force push lock him. Okay, so the way we're going to do this is we're just going to ease ourselves around the uh, corner. So I like to quick save here in case I mess up. So, uh, once you feel yourself start going around the corner, there we go. So that's how you avoid it. Um, actually, I, I'll, I'll show you how the cutscene looks. So that's how the cutscene looks. So as you can see, it's a lot of time loss. And you have to, like, sometimes you'll be able to carry on. Like, you'll be able to be not wedged in it. Like, I'm inside it right now, so I can still get through. But most of the time you have to reload there as well. So, yeah. So that's that. And here we just want to... Uh, So here he's in a bit of a he's in a bit of a flippy mood. So we're just gonna force push him in. So okay, he's not in a flippy mood. He, he's in a he's in a fairly good mood. So I'm gonna run now to about more well, about here. This is this is a good place because you want to be as close to that because in the cutscene uh, they Qui Gon will run to a certain spot. So when the hyperdrive gets in, you want to be roughly where I was stood, uh, because then the cutscene's shorter, because you don't have to wait for that. 
but that's that level. It's, it's really simple. Um, it can mess up. It can mess up if Maul flips a lot. And if he flips away and slashes Padme and she dies. But most of the time, it's a fairly simple level. Now this level, um, Padme's health is irrelevant. So at the very beginning here, we're going to let her tank some shots. Because my health is more important on this level. Uh, it's also fairly unimportant. But if you mess up the final boss, it's nice to have as much health as possible. Uh, because he can hit kind of hard. And Padme needs her health for nothing, so we let her take the tank shot. Just so I have, like, the safety health. So, that is up here. The... This ship's gonna be attacked, along with this guard. And when this guard goes down... When this guard goes down, it's gonna come and attack us. But it's gonna attack her because I'm stood behind her. Because I stood behind her. That's why. Okay, so now these guys are gonna go here. Now we just need her to, uh... Where is she? Is she under the ship? You need her to say her line. Where is she? Where is she? Oh, there she is. Okay. Uh, you need her to say her line a bit because, uh... Oh, there's a new guy. Okay. So... Normally those guys don't appear because normally she I don't have you have to go look you don't have to go looking for her. Normally you just come straight on here and uh, you pick this up. Um, basically, um, yeah, on on this level it's fairly simple. Um, you can get her to despawn here. Uh, we don't know how though. Uh, it is good if she does despawn, so don't panic if she disappears. Um, we think taking the corners really tight does it, but not too sure. So here we kill this droid. Well, she didn't despawn there, she's right behind me. Um, so here we destroy this. The reason her despawning is good is because um, we're going to leave her in this state. Uh, we're going to carry on, like, we're going to sequence break, and li so there's always going to be a person here. And she will always be saying her lines, and in the final cutscene, she'll be interrupting the lines, so the cutscene takes longer. Uh, so if she despawns, it's quicker, but it's not the end of the world if you don't get it. It's not worth resetting for or, like, reloading to try and do. So here we want to angle it, so here we're going to push it this way, and now we're going to turn, and we're going to push it this way, so it doesn't go in that gap. Now, so it doesn't go in the left gap, we're going to turn and push it this way again. And then we're going to do the same again on the right. Uh, this game's very hard to push perfectly straight, um, so it will often like slide into those gaps. And doing that will just uh, counteract it, so you don't have to worry about it. So this is where the sequence break is, okay? I will show how to do it wrong. I'll show, well, I'll show why we need the sequence break. So if you leave Padme, and we just uh, run across the bridge... She will die. The queen has been killed because we left her behind. However, we can sequence break it because there is a certain path being between this blue laser and here. This path here. Okay, we're, we're past the death wall. She is now in two places at once. She is... She... she <laughs> I almost ran off the edge there. She is now back there. And she will say her lines. See, we have to get out of here. And she is being kidnapped at the same time. Because normally she would be kidnapped. So she's in both lo she's in both uh, locations. So here we go through here. Um, this is the normal route, obviously. Um, we go around this way and jump over this block. Because if you go around the other way, this blue guy will talk to you. So here we run around here, staying away from the green man. He will also... Uh, Talk to you, and then we go into this lift. Okay, at the bottom of this lift, there are going to be enemies. We only have to kill one of them to pro progress, so we are only going to kill that one. Uh, there's a lift which has a barrier in the way, and the barrier will go down once you kill that one. So we run around here, and he will come out the corner here. It's this guy here. 
with the yellow blades. So he's dead now. And now the barrier's gone down. We don't. We can just ignore the other people. This level has a lot of uh, really long elevators. So here we run this way through this door. Push the button. I like to stand about here. Uh, if you, you're gonna have to move if you're on the left, because if you bump any of the homeless people in this level, they uh, start talking to you, and we don't want them to for speed. Okay, so you go take this one first, and then you push this button. You don't push the. You need to push them in that order. So then we run round, we keep going, and then we try and... Oh, see, this guy just spoke to me for no reason. I don't know. I didn't even bump him. But yeah, so here we jump up here, and we push this uh, to get the white key card. So we now have the white key card, push this button. Then we go right. We go this path right. Then we go here, and we run down, and we save Padme. And pick up the red key card. We don't have to worry about escorting her on this level. Uh, she's very, very good. We just carry on the brute. So here we go straight across. Put the red key card in and wait on here. Where as soon as this starts going down, you can run off of it. And now we've got coming to a puzzle. A very illogical puzzle, but a puzzle nonetheless. So you push this button. Then you run to the other side and you push this button. Then you come over here and you push this button. Then when it gets to the end, you can hear a clunk. Yep. And then we can push it again. Then we instantly run over here and uh, push this button. Then we turn back and we push this button again. And then we go and push this button. And then finally we push this button. So now here we want to swap out to this other gun that we picked up. It's, uh, it's uh, number two on your uh, thing. It's got bouncing bullets. It's my favorite gun in the game, and this is the, unfortunately the only point that you get to use it. So here we go up the lift, and we answer the password. Uh, don't answer this wrong, uh, you'll have to fight a bunch of turrets. Not worth it. Uh, the password is crossed and it has lovely sunsets, and the door opens. So here, this is the boss fight. Here we go about to here, we jump up to see that guy's legs, where he is. And then basically that, we just back off from him while shooting him. So this was an extremely bad boss fight, but he's dead nonetheless. So here we uh, back onto here. And now we have to wait for a lift up. And, uh, yeah, that's this level, basically. And now we, um, run forward like this, and that's the level. Now we have to wait for a cutscene, and I will point out, uh, the second Padme's, uh, dialogue that would be skipped if you managed to despawn her. There we go, we have to get out of here now. There's one. I think there was another one, I just zoned out, my bad. We must hurry, there's another one. There's three in total. There's three in total, and uh... 
they just slow it down. They, 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 they just cut up the conversation, meaning they can't say their lines. Okay, and that was that level. Uh, there's two more to go. Okay, so um, I had to quickly leave uh, after I think it was Karosin that we finished. So um, I'm there's gonna be a weird cut. Um, well, there's not even gonna be a cut. I'm just gonna put the two together because uh, I can't edit. But anyway, so we're gonna uh, load up old. Uh, Assault on Theed. Now, the trick on this level is to run straight away. Um, ooh, you see, I've changed the audio, so it's really loud. Uh, so the reason you have to run straight away is because um, this man in the background that shoots those two droids, uh, if you don't run straight away, you'll actually block him, and he will be stuck behind Panaka, for example, and then they will die. Cause only, and then you get game over before the game even started in a cutscene. Okay, so here we pick up those flash grenades. We need to, we use them in the last level to make it a bit safer. So here, I just always run while holding. It's got no ammo. Uh, you want to zap this droid there. That one, that one I just zapped. That's the one you want to zap. Um, the reason you want to zap him is because uh, he can come into this room and kill this guy, which soft locks you. Um, no other, no other droid will go in the room. It's only that one. Um, he doesn't normally turn that way though. He normally goes straight on, but it doesn't really matter. So here we let Panaka kill these ones. Panaka should do a, Panaka should do most of the killing on this level for us. Um, he can mess up though, so you've got to be a bit careful. So here we tell him to uh, keep moving. I like to give a few like pre-shots at this guy. They all missed. It's fine. Um, I like to kill a few of them because Panaka does get overwhelmed with them. He will kill them. He'll just get a bit overwhelmed, and if he's overwhelmed, uh, it takes longer. So here you, you've got you've got to make sure you drop down here to pick up that rocket launcher from the very top. If you are like, let's say, here, it doesn't work. It has to be at the very top. So once you picked up that rocket launcher, you run back up, you come here. And here, you stay back so you don't get aggro of them and just make sure they all die. So here, we just get onto the turret. There will be three droider cars that come. One, uh, their timing is random. They either come all together. Or one and then two, or two then one. It's different. So this time one came, and the other two, here they come. So they were really delayed this time. So here we want a rocket launcher out, right? Well, don't get it out yet because it makes you slow, but once you hear the droid, okay? You want to aim about to here. And then just when it's standing up like that, you want to hit it. If you hit it at that exact point, you you can destroy it in one. You, you don't need to uh, you don't need to use uh, a second shot. You can just swap to the gun because the shield's gone. Now the way we cheese this fight with Obi Wan is we get out the rocket launcher that we picked up on level uh, one of the Naboo ones. I don't remember what what level it is four. And here we uh, shoot him with this. Oh, you bastard. He wants to- he wants- it's because he wants to throw these at me. There we go. So that was not that good. I mean, it was okay. Uh, the reason we do that is because this fight's really inconsistent otherwise. Um, it- it- It can be really difficult to, uh, do it. Um... The fact that I missed one there... It's not the end of the world. I'm going to keep going because to show you what you have to do if, it, if you do mess it up. So at one point we used ISG here, but it was very inconsistent. Okay, so now he's actually been hit, but for some reason Qui-Gon's blocking him. That can happen sometimes. You just got... There we go. He's not unblocked now. 
So that's that part. It's really easy now. Uh, we've got the rocket launcher strap. With the rocket launcher strap, it's really easy. That 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 was the main run killer of the entire run and uh, before, but it's uh, it's not an issue now. Oh my god, my aim. So there you say I'll cover you because you want him to run because he uh. So we've skipped the droid cut. So here we run around here and we just talk to him and we tell him um to follow. Now here you've got to be careful. Um, okay, so I don't need the safety health, but I'm going to take it just to show you where it is. So, um, you need to be careful that he doesn't get stuck down, uh, get out of my way, down here. If he doesn't follow you up the stairs, he'll run under the bridge, and that's a real big time loss, because killing all of them takes a lot of time. So, push this button here, there's a full health pack here. So, you don't really need it unless you're, like, 50 or below, but we're just going to get it, because... Like I said, I was gonna show. I was gonna show you where it was. So here, um, we run and talk to these people. Um, Panaka can fuck up. He's not this time. I always t turn around to make sure he's coming because if he doesn't, um, you have to run back. So it's always worth just turning around. It loses you less time turning around to check than to and then going back. Other than instead of coming all the way here and then having to run back. So here, I like to see. You can see his feet there in the top left of the screen. Uh, that means uh, he's there, so it's all good. Now here, you normally shoot it from outside, but I'm going to show go in the room to show you what you're actually shooting at. So you're shooting at this generator here. So you normally just stand out at the back. There you go. And then we come here. So here, we're going to shoot like... I think it's like five shots or so into the middle of it. And now you see it's like all smoking and all, well, it's on fire. That's because we, we do that because now when Panaka throws a thermal detonator, it's only going to um, take one instead of two, which means you can run straight through without it being slow. And now we use our rocket launcher again. Uh, we shoot it down the middle here. Bam. And this is basically the level now. We, I like to tuck myself in here so I'm not in the way. Sometimes that droid gets him stuck, sometimes it doesn't. Um, so yeah, we, we tuck myself away here. And let him lead the way. Because if you bump him, uh, he, he it's a lot of time lost because he just talks for ages. So then we jump over here, kill this droid and just wait for him. And then we talk to him. Okay. Then here we just run past more like that. Quick save here just in case. So down below that door is the exit level trigger. But if we land on top of it, it counts. So we just jump down. Now this level health is super, 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 super important. I can't... Uh, this is, I can't, like, exaggerate, I can't, I can't explain enough how important it is. Um, this is the hard, like, this is the least safe level in the game, as we do not have any, uh, safe strats. So we kill this guy as well. Now, so, you see I have three shots left. I'm gonna fire one into here. So I have been hit a little bit. Um, so I'm going to risk something here. I've had it before where I've shot one in this room that the health pickup doesn't work anymore. Um, I'm going to test it again right now. I'm going to I'm going to shoot in a different part of the room. Because they're both... Oh, he didn't even die. He didn't even die. So as long as you've got 75 health... Okay, the health is fine in here. Okay. So 75 is the lowest you should go because you should be at 100 for this next part. Because this net, well, this next Padme part. Um, basically, they're just mad dashes. Uh, unless we find a skip or like a, a very consistent thing, it's um, very likely that. It will always be risky. It, 
Oh my god. It won't let me it won't let me push from there. So it's, it's very likely that it's always gonna be risky this one. Because um This isn't this isn't like the uh PlayStation, we don't have as many glitches. Glitches are very rare. So you push this button. Go down here. We shoot this guy. Bang. Go up the top here. Jump around the corner because Panaka blocks you otherwise. Put the card in there. Push the button. Now, this Obi Wan one. So here we want to. Uh, you can take your time here. Uh, it's very hard to get a good cycle. So don't worry too much. So you go around this way. And we want to go up one level. We want to go up one level. And currently, currently the route we have means the cycle is impossible to ever get it in a good place. Uh, so the cycles persist between Padme stage and Obi-Wan stage. And the current first part we have with Padme means that even if you sprint this entire thing, you're not going to get a good cycle. So... It's better to be safe and not lose any time by reloading on this one because you, you can't beat the cycle anyway. So here I like to angle it like roughly like this. And you double jump. Um, the reason you do those angles is because you often do a rolling jump. You often do a rolling jump and on these stupid circle things you'll just you'll just fall. You just fall through. So right, here's the dark room. Uh, we avoid most of the puzzles of it. We, well, most of we avoid most of what you're meant to do. So we have to run down to the end to push this one. That we have to do. But instead of doing the other things, we just we go down here, we turn to this, and we force push. You see, it's gone black. That means it's gone. Now you need to use your lightsaber glow to uh, judge where. See, I didn't there. <coughs> I don't know why I didn't, but I didn't. Um, so you need to use your lightsaber glow to uh, judge where to jump. And there we go, we're on the other side. Can we go this way? So we pick up the safety health here. It's just that, a secret panel on the wall. And we push that. Now, this is a bad-ish cycle, but I can't do much about it. So here, this is the mad dash. So I like, this is the route I like to take. There's very much a reason I like to take that route. So we open that door for safety. So we don't have to do it later. And we open here and there's some health in there. So the reason I take that route is because I find that's the easiest route to dodge the turrets. Which do the most damage behind, uh, other than the Droidicus. And taking that route, uh, the Droidicus come forward more. If you run along the left wall only, you won't. they won't appear on the cap. They, will, like, they only start rolling forward once they like... Like a pixel of theirs appears on the top of the camera, right? The top of the screen. Coming from the left hand side, they will still be at that door when you do that. They won't roll forward because you haven't seen them on the screen yet. And that means you're getting blasted while pushing the button. If you do a bit, if you do that like S, if you do that S shape, they roll forward and then you're not getting blasted at the. Uh, at the, at the button, at the panel. I also um, hold down the mouse button to uh, constantly shoot the zappy gun. Um, just in case. I don't aim for droids, but if they get in my way, I zap them and then they won't be shooting me anymore. So that's why I hold that down. So once we've done this, we're going to do another mad dash. Over to here and open this door. And grab this. And we want to leave this room quickly because there's a droid car in here. So, and then we go round to the other door we opened. And that's why we opened it. So we don't have to push a button and wait for the door to open while we uh, do that. So here we're going to push this button. We need to quickly get out of here. There we go. So once you're in this corridor, you're safe. The, uh, the people from out there aren't going to come and get you. So what you want to do now is jump onto here. And you want to jump and turn in the air to pick that. Not like that though. Not like that. Like that. There you go. I've picked it up now. 
So once we got the key, we come over here, jump up here. Oh my god. Don't ever fail that jump. There we go. You can fail the one on the way back. Because you just have to run up the stairs. You have to reload if you uh, fail, the, fail the other one. Okay. So now here is Obi-Wan. You can see we got a super bad cycle. Because the lift's going down now and it's just on the one below. So we're going to have to wait for a long time for it to come up. Uh, it's because... Uh, Yeah, it's because we've been playing slowly. It, like this isn't this isn't a fast. I haven't been doing this level fast. Um, but it's normally on a better cycle. Okay, so here you here's a bit of a difficult jump. This is this one always gets me on my PB runs. Okay, so I made it. So you also want to angle yourself again, so you don't, um... So you don't roll off. Uh, here you don't, here it doesn't matter if you roll, because we're waiting for the lift to come down. So we're gonna wait for the lift to come down and roll, and if we do roll, we're gonna roll onto it. Um, also if that droid... I didn't roll, okay. So if that droid uh, shoots at you, you, you need to go jump quick, because you can't be tanking the hits, because you might softlock yourself. By having too low health and maul or something. Okay, so now this is a fairly tricky jump. So what you're going to do is you're going to jump forward and then you're going to turn in the air and land inside the hangar. Um, it's going to take a lot of practice. Um, we still mess it up regularly. I mean, all the best PB runs have it first time, but... So you jump out and then you turn like that and you go in. There we go. So that's how we do that. Now the buttons we push is this one, this one, this one, and this one. jump up here and that now the game's pretty much finished uh, you can still choke you can still choke but it's pretty hard so here you want to avoid getting hit by the turrets or any of these guys now you let that droid open the door jump over this one way there we go so that's how you roughly do it you, you just need to make sure you don't zap that droid because he does open the door for you so here we get our gun out. Try to kill these two droids with the health you're on. They will move around a lot, making it super hard, but it's fine. And then pick up the health, because it means you've obviously got more health. So here we pick up our rocket launcher, our final charge. Do not miss. You need to kill these two. Perfect. So here you can use any gun on these. They die in one hit. Now we get our grenades out. Because then you don't have to play shooting all these droids while they try and dodge your bullets. Uh, we just go, whoa. Take my grenades. Done. So that's that. That's Padme's side done. And then Obi-Wan, we've just got one trick. Well, well, no, we, don't, we ain't got anything tricky. So now we've got to wait for the lift. I don't know where it is right now. Oh, it's going up. It's fine. We'll get on it anyway. Uh, it's best when it's going down because we want to go down. Uh, so we've just gone up for no reason, but it's fine. So here we're going to jump off here. There you go. You saw the roll there. So that's the roll that you've got to watch out for uh, a lot of the time. Because that's the roll that will send you uh, flying off the edge. And that's why you have to do the angled jumps. You can make the jumps differently. It's just... Very, it's really risky. You just gotta hope. Okay, so here we just jump across to here. And that's that's basically it. So now we've just got more. So when these open, when we get to here, there's gonna be a cutscene.
And then we run. Jump. Oh, okay. So you just need to uh, spam it. Um, sometimes it'll flip out of it, but it's fine. And that's the end. Uh, and the end split you do now when you lose control of Obi Wan. And uh, that's the speed run. Um, hopefully that helped anyone that is interested in it. Um, if there are any major changes, obviously I'll do a new one. But um, I can't see any major changes to the run. There might be minor ones, but this is like I think this will serve as a good one for beginners, at least. I mean, it, it, it all of the new strats that we've discovered, all the safe ways to make things safer. All of that is, uh, yeah, it's already it's already in there. Um, yeah, this is the worst part of the game. Um, this is unskippable, meaning um, if you want to grind out runs, you have to wait for this every single time. It's the worst part of the run, to be honest. But, um, but yeah, it's actually a really fun game, and uh, hopefully uh, more people will pick it up. Because currently it's just me and Pandrew. And it'd be cool if there was like more of us, like get a small little community going. Um, yeah. So that is it.